Now, India's Chandrayaan-3 has marked another milestone. India's space agency ISRO has announced that the Vikram lander has successfully completed the first de-boosting operation to reduce first orbit. In a tweet, ISRO informed that the lander is safe and the second de-boosting operation will take place on 20th of August. Earlier, the two components called lander and the propulsion module separated successfully. Now the two parts have different pathways ahead. The propulsion system will encircle moon and study about exoplanets. It will also study about Earth's atmosphere and polarization phenomena from its vantage point. This particular configuration will help as the starting point for the anticipated soft landing attempt. Deboosting is an important process you see. The moon has a very thin atmosphere, thus there is no atmospheric drag to reduce the speed. So the lander will achieve this through the process of deboosting. It will attempt a series of braking maneuvers and this constant pushing and pulling will help the lander enter an orbit closer to the moon. The spacecraft will engage in two successive orbit reduction maneuvers, one which has just completed. Landing phase is the make or break stage. Four years ago, Chandrayaan-2 failed at this very stage and crash landed on the moon. Nonetheless, Indian Space Agency improvised on its errors and if successful, India will enter a select group of nations which have successfully landed a spacecraft on the surface of the moon. Till now, only Russia, China and the US have managed to land a spacecraft on the lunar surface. Now for the latest, we have been joined by a senior correspondent, Siddharth MP. Siddharth, welcome to the broadcast. We are seeing the final stage of Chandrayaan-3 mission playing out. The lander module, of course, has descended to a slightly lower orbit. What happens from here, Siddharth? So in fact, uh, as you rightly pointed out, this is in fact the final phase of the mission that we are into. So there's just five days to go for the historic lunar landing attempt by India's spacecraft Chandrayaan-3. So now let's remember the fact that uh, the propulsion module and the lander module are two separate parts now. The propulsion module will continue to orbit the moon for the coming years or coming months. And it also has an interesting payload on board known as the shape payload. What it's meant to do is first it will look at Earth. Earth signatures, polarimetric signatures, uh, and it will understand as to what are some of the unique characteristics of our home planet. And what it will also do is it will look for similar signs in outer space. It will look for exoplanets of which several thousands have been discovered for now. It will try to understand as to which are the other exoplanets that can possibly harbor life in future. So it will look for signs of harboring life on exoplanets and the possibilities in this regard. That is the job of the shape payload on the propulsion module. As far as the lander module is concerned, the lander's job henceforth is to perform deboosting. The first deboosting is done at around 3.50 p.m. India time today. ISRO has announced it at 4 p.m. So this maneuver has meant that the lander module or rather Vikram as ISRO calls it has come down to an orbit of 117 into uh, 113 into 157 kilometer orbit. So this is of course a lower orbit and gradually there will be you know more maneuvers to push this craft downwards that is towards the lunar orbit. These are known as deboosts. So each of these deboosts will be carried out in the coming days. The next milestone is in the early hours of Sunday. It's at around 2 a.m. on Sunday that this is expected, 00, 200 hours that this is expected. And that will be another maneuver to push the craft closer. Let's also remember the fact that this deboosting is a step to both reduce the velocity of the craft and also to reduce its orbit in preparation for the lunar landing. Absolutely. As we understand that it's very important what position also the lander is, only then the mission will be successful. Now, Siddharth Chandrayaan-2 was barely 30 minutes away from completing its mission when it crash landed on the lunar surface. But Chandrayaan-3, of course, has revived that same hope for ISRO. The mission is just five days away, as you rightly pointed out. Siddharth, if successful, what will this mean for India? 
of course this will be history being made by india because as far as india is concerned this will be india's first lunar soft landing because if you look at the history of the chandrayaan projects in 2008 2009 itself chandrayaan one sort of crash landed a probe on the lunar surface it's called the moon impact probe in 2008 2009 the chandrayaan one mission had what was known as a moon impact probe it was a small squarish box with a tricolor painted on all sides so what the moon impact probe did was as the craft flew over the southern pole of the moon this was fired like a bullet and it went and impacted near the south pole of the moon and fell there so essentially the indian tricolor has already touched the moon in 2008 2009 itself and that was a record that india created back then itself to further that to actually soft land on the moon is a very sophisticated move and that's why chandrayaan 2 was conceptualized you land on the moon you also do in situ experiments using the lander and a four uh, six wheeled rover which is a uh, you know automobile that will traverse the surface of the moon so this was what chandrayaan 2 was meant to do but unfortunately things did not work as planned barely 2.1 kilometers above the lunar surface isro lost contact uh, with chandrayaan 2 and it was learnt very clearly that chandrayaan 2 had crash landed so essentially when you don't kill the velocity enough the craft overspeeds in a certain way it's already overspeeding in fact so you'll have to you know slow the craft down to 1 meter per second yeah. it's at least traveling at 1.6 kilometers per second from there you have to slow it down and bring it down for a soft landing so that will make india the fourth nation to do so so far let's remember only the erstwhile soviet union us and china have done so india will become when successful the fourth nation to accomplish this very rare and you know a very uh, important scientific feat in the modern world Absolutely and not just India the world is awaiting for 23rd of August which is when this mission is going to conclude thank you for getting us all those insights siddharth and decoding for us this very complex mission